So what's up guys, uh, welcome back, this is your boy again, Adam Slink, how you that day now, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. Today is Sunday, sorry guys, today is Sunday, and please, I hope my Christians, our brother and sister went to church, and they pray for your loved ones, most especially myself. Today is also, we are still in the month of Ramadan, and we are fasting about 28 today, so hopefully, on Wednesday, we'll be Salah. So make sure, if you know my address, visit me. I will have a lot of salad meat and salad food for you guys. And uh, that being said, for those of you who haven't submitted your account number, I beg, submit your account number. There is literally an instruction on how you should write your account number under that shot. If you do not need the money, indicate so I will give it to someone else. Somebody like Big Sam. Somebody like Vicky Watt or Vicky Ayah, Vicky Watt and so many other persons. There are instructions on how to post your account number. It is there. Follow the instruction. If you don't need it, just indicate Adam Sling. Please give this. I, I, I donate this uh, giveaway to, to the next person. And I will gladly give it to the next person. Abba. Now the stress for account number again. Well, that being said, let's uh, jump right into the main discussion of this video. Of course, you saw Brimo. And of course, we saw our Bonner Boy and Whiskey and Afro Beat as well. Well, try as much as possible to leave your comment, like this video as you watch, and share, and uh, invite your loved ones, guys. So first, I'll play you a video from uh, Brimo talking about uh, Bonner Boy. You know, Brimo and Bonner Boy, they are not in good terms. He also uh, took the opportunity to call out uh, people like uh, Davido, and uh, whiskey as well. Try to copy. Complete these lyrics. Alhamdulillah, I shine like diamond. Hustle that make you no go fall off like. Primo. That. I will copy that when you put away lyrics. When you go like no shall. Say nothing for this one we ever put in name for my song. You know, rich. <laughs> Just to prove to Nigerians that you are sorry or you are a changed man, would you sign to any of this artist label? Whiskey, David Doe, or Bonaboy? No, I'll just go to hell. Then sign to Whiskey, David Doe, or Bonaboy. They need recording deals. <laughs> listen, 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 listen. My brother is the house. I'm an only child. My papa and my dad house together. I send them money. I mean, they go also go work. I need carry one of them. They go follow me up and down. That's why I'm a grown man. I papa don't even sponsor me. They don't give me anything. They don't dash me. They don't bring me in plane to pose. You understand? Well, that is uh, Brimo. You know, for those of you who know Brimo, he has a personal beef with uh, Bonaboy. And Bonaboy also took it personally. In fact, Bonaboy had to compose a particular song on behalf of Brimo. When he said, Alhamdulillah, I go also hard so that I no go fall down like Brimo. Of course, we all of you know about that particular lyrics from uh, Bonner Boy. But one of the crazy things about Brimo is that, <laughs> don't be the same guy saying, Ole Ku, tell me something when I know if he do. Kai, Brimo, does yeah, that yeah. Brimo, that yeah. But Brembo can sing, shall let me be honest. The album he dropped about last four years. Damn. Damn. But I don't understand what you can put to the guy. Because there are too much Igbo. See, people need to run away from Igbo on all those cheap drugs or all those hard drugs. Honestly. Because Brembo has lost street credibility, street respect. I... Honestly, think that if anybody should have any beef with any artist, it should be the viewers. Allow the viewers to do the beefing. Allow the viewers, us, to cuss out any artist that is not doing well. Not you as an artist calling out other entertainers. You know, go feel work for you. You know, go feel progress like that when it comes to the music entertainment industry. You cannot progress like that, Primo. But Primo do not really, really give a damn though about David. Whiskey or Bonaboy or any other artist. 
But a few years ago, he gave it down because he was praising them before. But now, I don't know why he decided to just go haywire on them. Most especially on Bonner Boy. And again, you know, he called out David O with the private jet and everything. Said night they also, all those kind of things. Well, ah, you know, David O fans go to us, if your papa rich, make your papa give you private jet now. Or if your papa rich, make your papa still they give you money now. All those kind of things. <laughs> and meanwhile, okay, okay, you know what? I shouldn't make it look like I'm having any beef with anybody. I'm not having any beef with anybody. Brimo will always be Brimo. That is just how it is. I think all those uh, meat crises started a long time ago while he was in Chocolate City. In fact, they are evil hard to even let him go. They had to let him go. I beg, carry yourself, go, carry everything, go. He never went back to Chocolate City. He has been doing it uh, all alone by himself. Well, Brimo, wait up. Will you fall off real bad? You fall off real bad. Well, that being said, he also talked about hellfire. They asked him during the interview if he believed in hell. In fact, he said, hey, why you go hellfire? I saw an interview where you said you would like to go to hell. You mentioned two artists you would like to take there with you. To hell? No, no, nobody. I want to go there alone. Why? Why would I go with somebody? I have to go alone. I go everywhere I go alone. You know what hell means, right? Yeah, if it exists, yes. You don't think it, it exists? To be, to be honest, I don't think the, the religious hell exists, that's all. Hellfire. You know, eh? many people do not believe in hellfire. Not only Brimo. There are so many people like that who so think like that. They do not believe in hell. They believe whatever you work for, your repercussion, everything is just on this heart. That is why it is really, really good, like be observant, to know the kind of leader you are putting somewhere. Many of our leaders do not believe in hellfire. Let me be honest with you. They don't believe there is a being that can hold them accountable. You might think they are Christians, you might think they are Muslims, but honestly, in their heart, they do not believe anybody will hold them accountable. What do you expect from someone who outrightly asks me to have sexual intercourse with him before recording music with her? What, what do you expect? You believe that kind? Do you think that kind of person will believe in hellfire? <laughs> you think that kind of person with that kind of heart could believe in hellfire? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. But one of the greatest ways to show some people is left for God. He said, one go hell fire be. There are some human beings that will condemn themselves on this earth. He said, one go hell fire be. Okay. I hope he goes to hell fire because I wish him exactly what he wished himself. Hellfire is real to me. I believe there is somebody, there is there is God out, there is God that we we that can hold us accountable. Because for, for example, if human beings think, or if human beings think, have this mindset that nobody can hold them accountable for anything. May the suffering you are suffering on this heart currently, if we have such ideology. It might be times one million. Nobody will give a damn about the next person. Because nobody is holding us accountable for anything. We just move around, just living our life. Why do we even need to do good? Why do we even need to tolerate each other if there's no hellfire? Human beings need reward. And also punishment. Whether you like it or not, human beings need reward and punishment. That is why in the office, eh, if you do something good, you would like your boss to reward you. And if you do something bad, be expecting punishment. All these are the things that keep human beings in line. Without that, we are doomed. There is no purpose. Without that, there is no purpose on this earth. 
absolutely no purpose. So please, don't have such ideology as Brian Wu. Don't. But there are people though who have such ideology. And uh, well, wherever the ideology leads you, so be it. But I love that interview with uh, Brian Mo and uh, I will I will encourage you guys to go and watch the full interview. That guy is actually really, really trying. Just uh, catching crews and uh, getting these interviews done. But meanwhile, let's move past that. Let's talk about uh, Whiskey. There is this popular Nigeria, UK based radio personality and show promoter Adesupi. This guy was asked recently to name the top 10 Afrobeat artists from Nigeria. Well, guess what he said. Give us your top 10 Afrobeat artists right now. Woo! Top 10. Top 10 Afrobeat uh, artists mm. right now. I think if I go from Nigeria, you are not going to be able to avoid the likes of David, okay. Berna, um, Brema, mm. Omale, mm. Siwa, mm. you know, Obviously, hear me. Adekunle go. Flavor. Okay. Flavor. Okay. flavor. <laughs> yeah. Stop playing. You anybody that <laughs> listens to flavor knows. Oh. Flavor. Okay. Flavor is heavy. Uh, okay. Um, mm. who else am I listening to? Who else am I listening to? Ruga. Okay. Ruga is is also on my playlist. Mm. Uh, Kiss Daniel. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I think it's to me mm. actually. Kiss Daniel currently mm. is the hardest Afrobeat artist from Nigeria. Okay. Currently. Mm. He's the most consistent with Afrobeat sounds where he does not change or shape or mix his, his playlist or his sound. He is so authentic. That young man is an incredible genius. Mm. He also has an, a, a massive show in London coming up. But Kiss Daniel mm. is top of the food chain, actually. Mm. 2024, Kiss Daniel is number one. Okay. Thank you very much. So now they're asking him, they're asking him, why didn't you mention uh, whiskey? That's a question now. Why didn't he mention whiskey? Well, come on, man. For those of you asking that question, what do you expect? Someone who came online to tell you, make you no mention a papa name, join Afrobeat. Why do you keep forcing that person to be part of a system that he doesn't want? He said he papa no belongs to any Afrobeat. So that is why he refused to mention his kid name. So I support Adesopi. You should as well support Adesopi. I support him for not mentioning his kid name. Who be his kid? Why go mention his kid name? You know, they are close friends, so numerous shows he did, and Adesopi was there to support him. But we are also friends when you tell me not to put your name among Afrobeat artists. That doesn't make us not being friends. We are also friends. We are also friends. But you are not an Afrobeat artist anymore. You are some other thing you wish to put yourself with skid. So people blasting Adesopi. I'm making it look like he disrespected this kid. He never disrespected nobody. He just simply, he just simply obeyed the instruction of whiskey. He simply obeyed the instruction of your papa. Oh, whiskey fans. That was the deed. Come on, man. Let's be honest. You I, I are you going to beat him over that now? For saying. This kid for not mentioning his kid name, where you know clearly the man told me your papa know how the papa name join Afrobeat. That's how it is. I know some of you try to make excuses. Oh, you know me like that. You know me like that. You me like this. You me like this. You me like this. Abba, stop reading many two things. If I say A, A simply means A sometimes. No, most of the times A simply means A. B means B. You don't need to say A, B, or B, C, or B, A. No, it means just what it is. So, guys, thank you very much for watching the boy again, Adam's link. Have a wonderful day. Stay blessed. I'm going to catch you next time on the next video on the other channel. 
So try as much as possible to watch it out.